So the way we learned how to turn fractions into percents and vice versa was to use what we know. So if I had one half and I wanted to know what that is as a percent, what you would do first is turn it into a decimal. So I know that one half is five tenths as a decimal, but if you didn't know that, remember you could do nerd and the donkey. And two cannot go into one, I'm gonna put a zero. Decimal in the zero. Two can go into 10 five times, and I have nothing left over because two times five is 10. All right, so that's gonna be zero and five tenths. Now I can just go from decimal to percent. And as we already know, as we already talked about, if I'm going from decimal to percent, D to P, I'm moving my decimal two places to the right. So I have to fill in this zero, that's gonna get me 50%, okay? Um, and I also know if I was going the other way, like if I had 12% and I wanted to turn that into a fraction, I know that 12% percents are always out of 100, so that's 12 out of 100. So my last step is just to simplify my fraction. So 12 and 100 could both be divided by four. If you weren't sure about that, you could always start with two, divide them both by two, but this one will just save us some time. All right, so I know that four, or 12 divided by four is three, 100 divided by four is 25, and that can't be simplified anymore, so that is my answer. And I'm gonna show you another cool way. Now that we've learned about proportions, you can use your knowledge. So if I had two fifths, and I wanted to turn it into a percent, remember, percents are always out of 100. So I actually have a proportion right here. So I have two fifths is equivalent to what over 100? So I could cross multiply divide by the lonely guy or I could scale. If I cross multiply, two times 100 is 200. Divide by the lonely guy, which is five. So five can go into 240 times. Or I could have scaled, which in this case is easier, but remember it doesn't work for everything. I know that five times 100 is 20. Or no, five times 20 is 100, sorry. So I have to do the same thing up top. So I know that I have to do the same thing up here. If I multiply the bottom by 20, I have to do the same to the top. So two times 20 is 40. So since now I know that this is 40 over 100, that is the same as 40%. There you go.